So Miles, you just moved down here to LA from San Francisco. Is it yeah. scary being in here in LA for one month? Man, it's so intimidating. <laughs> It is so intimidating. Yeah, I remember when I first moved here, it was like this big machine. I had no part in it, and I would literally wake up kind of sick to my stomach going, what am I going to do? Now, you're probably in a little better situation than that. You know, a few people. I don't know, I don't know man. <laughs> <laughs> I know you. I yeah. feel good about okay. that. Well, we're, we're, we're hooking you up. Um, you live in Koreatown, right? But you're yeah. saying that you, you were telling me that in order to like pay your rent, you're going back up to San Francisco and doing playing in the bands yeah. you, you, know, you know. Like, yeah, what I, band are you playing in up in San Francisco? There's a... Um, Kind of a cover corporate rock band mm -hmm. I play with called Boombox. Okay. And we do weddings and um, corporate events. You know. Does that happen kind of every weekend and stuff? Um, no, actually, right now it's it's every other weekend. Oh, that's, that's good. So yeah. it doesn't get in the way of your life, but you make some money doing it. No, and then I have my students back home, and I, I teach okay. them in between awesome. the, the gigs awesome. there. Good. The corporate gig, what's your repertoire? Is it classic rock? Is it? It's kind of a mix. She's a... Um, She's singing a lot of rock and roll, um, and then a lot of like top 40s pop too. Got it. Okay. Um, funk, yeah. So your goal is to move down here to LA and mm -hmm. and figure out a way to make a living. Yeah, and I'd also love to uh, find a group that I can. Write so your and own board with. Yeah, your well, own yeah. group, right? But you kind of have something going with Paul Reed Smith on the East Coast. Yeah. What's the lineup of that group? It's some notable people, right? Yeah, World Without War is the name of the project. And um, Paul pulled us all together through different avenues. Mm -hmm. um, Swahili Mbappe is um, an amazing bass player from France. Okay, he's the bass player. Yeah, he's uh, kind of a jazz, hip-hop gotcha. flavor to his um, style. Um, John Allen is the drummer. Okay. He's uh, young, I think he's 20 or 21, and he's got that DC kind of funk sound. Sweet. And um, Adam Day is the vocalist, and we're all singing backgrounds, and we're all contributing to the writing process um, vocally and melodies and lyrics, but he is quite a talent with his words and comes up with some great hooks, and he's more of like a folk singer, so it's a really like interesting blend to bring like a rock kid and kind of just throw us in a pot and see what happens. What's the name of the band again? World Without War. So this is Paul Reed Smith kind of overseeing. Would yeah. you say he's producing it with you guys? He's He really wants us to be our own producers, okay, great. and that's what okay. he's pushing for. He wants, he's, so he's just kind of an angel over, over up above the thing. Just, he's definitely just, an angel. Yeah. yeah, well, look for that when it comes out. I have a feeling it's going to sound really, really great. How far along are you? How many songs have you recorded? We've had three songs, and um, we're going back in in a month and a half from now to record another four. Oh, great, good. And um, yeah. hopefully we'll get some interest from that. Who are your influences as a, as a player? Who would you say, you know, or, uh, what age did you start playing? I started playing a little bit late. Um, I was 14. Okay, yeah, I started yeah. at 12 and I felt that was late. I felt like six would have been the right age, right? right? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah. it has to do with when you hit puberty and, you know. Totally, it's when you find out you can't be an athlete, basically. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that's exactly what happened for me, really. I was an really? athlete, and I blew out my knee oh, okay. playing football, yeah. and so I kind of just, uh, yeah. guitar was that thing for me. Well, Alan Holdsworth didn't start till he was 17, so... Oh, so there's hope. Yeah, there's hope, yeah. yeah. No, there's hope. You're, you're, you're great. You got there really, really quick. But it's it sounds like maybe British guitar players are your yeah, influences? I, yeah, primarily the British guys, um, and I don't even think I put that together until we started talking about right doing yeah. this but yeah well the is. funny thing for you and me is uh at, at, at age 12 i was influenced by the same guys you were influenced at age 12 but perhaps 30 years later a lot of that comes from where i come from uh, my dad being who he is yeah and um when i did go over to his place there was you know there was a Jimi hendrix shrine right when you walked in the door uh, and that yeah. was you know yeah. like this giant beautiful picture he had of Jimi. yeah so that's kind of where I started because... Well, I started with Hendrix, too, in a way. And that's My, not British. I don't want to... No, it it's not British, but it was funny. He was over there when he recorded his first record. But mm -hmm. the, it's funny how, for me, it was songs on the radio in the 60s, and then when Hendrix appeared, and then all of the other guys, Clapton and Page and Beck, and for me, it was a lot of Billy Gibbons and ZZ Top. Yeah, that man. was big for me. But uh, So Hendrix was, was a big one for both of us, but... That makes sense. I hear it in your playing. Did you ever get into like the Van Halen thing or? 
I did. Yeah. I, I mean, I think that was my first talent show. Was okay. Busting out eruption. At, you so know, you were you school. were you were doing that. Yeah. It was almost like a challenge to <laughs> right. me. Like you yeah. know. Yeah. I think uh, my pop was like, "Yeah, I saw some kid, twelve years old, shredding eruption," and it was, he kind of just gave me this look, and then he walked away. That's your challenge. And yeah. and so like I spent two weeks trying to figure out that solo. Yeah. And I, I got pretty close. Yeah. And I wasn't spot on, but. I learned it once, too, and I got pretty close. You probably got a lot closer than I did. I love all that stuff, though, man, yeah. you know, from the 80s rock era. Uh, yeah. But the British guys are what I really sunk my teeth into as far as songwriting and yeah. just touch of the guitar. And they really, like, helped me find the other guys, all the kings. And well, that's what I was going to say next. So you and I are going to look at some Freddie King, B.B. King, and Albert King next time we get together, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so you are you actually went back and looked at who influenced the British guys. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, and there's a huge list. I feel like I haven't even skimmed the top of yeah. what they were influenced by. But yeah. it's always interesting, you know, the, uh, was it J.J. Kale? Uh-huh. You know, Clapton's like really taking his stuff and made it mainstream, you know? Right. Um, and I don't even think I've really looked into him as an artist yet. So, so that'll be next. Yeah, there's so many. Yeah. It's like, what do you, you know, too yeah. much to, too much. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm beginning to look at people, because I've been so busy doing sessions and working with songwriters, I'm actually starting to, to, to learn guitar again uh, and look at some of those people that, that you know, it'll, be, it'll be, actually be fresh for me when we look at uh, the Three Kings, as you say. Yeah, so man. It'll, it'll be fun. Well, cool, dude. Um, there's, you have a lot of poise and a lot of explosive kind of elements to your guitar playing. I, I wish you the best of luck, dude. Thank you. And I uh, plan on being around and hearing and, and playing with you and, and watching you join bands and get your career going. But just know that... Even for someone like Miles, it's intimidating coming to L.A. Oh, man. Hitting the ground No, running. you said it like just the, the stomach turning like, oh, shit. I mean, you know, I'm yeah. looking at Guitar Center and asking for jobs here. Yeah, we're packed here. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Thanks anyways. Yeah. Well, you'll be fine. I, I always tell people, you got to live here for a couple of years. At least give yourself two years. Then you'll kind of know. Then you'll kind of feel like a part of it. So uh, what is that? 25 more months. And you'll yeah. feel a little more <laughs> at home. All right, man. All right. Welcome. Thank you.